Hey friends, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a good weekend and that you have a wonderful week planned. I have a lot planned this week, both working here at Nevermore Creations, as well as finally getting into my new classroom where I'll be teaching in the fall and getting that cleaned and semi-organized. I think I have three full weeks till my teacher in-service starts. But if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what the world's going on, I am going back to teaching English this fall. Um, I was a former English teacher, but Nevermore Creations will continue here on YouTube, so make sure you are subscribed and all of that. Now, I'm here in my back room, still got more stuff to do. Um, I expected to have it done by now, or I hoped, I'll say it that way, I hope to have it done. Um, we had a tragedy with our dog um, over the weekend. I don't want to go into detail or talk a lot about it. It was really sad, um, and we had to put him down, so that definitely... Uh, slowed us way down um, emotionally and the energy we had and all that. So we're trying to work through that and get back to it. So we're not going to go into all of that. We're going to try to stay positive, but I want to show you what I have here. And then we have some more journals by Beatrice we're going to look at. Look at. Okay. Round. All right. Well, you got to look at my glue collection there. Um, these right here is what I wanted to talk about. These are D-Stash um, mailers. They're full of mostly vintage items from Above Par Crafts. That's what APC means, Above Par Crafts, uh, D-Stash Lot 19. I had giant boxes of stuff she had sent that I needed to clear out and sell for her. Um, so there are, all of these here are listed. Some of them have already sold. They are, they are packed as full as I could possibly pack them with mostly vintage journaling items. Um, so definitely there's pictures of what's in each one over on my website, nevermorecreation17.com, free shipping to the United States, exact shipping worldwide. Um, but I think that one has music paper, some music paper in it, but I have a few more to list. I have three medium flat rate boxes full to list of, I mean, these are packed full of journaling supplies. Some of them have some linens in them as well. Um, so those are getting listed hopefully today. And then over here in this, this hopefully will get listed today. It might not be up by the time you watch the video. The only thing I can guarantee that will be up besides what's already, besides <laughs> the D-Stash boxes that are already listed um, are the three journals we're about to look at. But there will be these Norman Rockwell cards, a piano roll, and some fabric packs, upholstery fabric pack. Um, so be checking back for this hopefully today or tomorrow, if possible. Also, there were a few journals that I found in my inventory that for some reason were not in the shop. So I'm going to show you those quickly. Um, this one needs a home here. This is a really cute one. I've had this sitting here forever. And for some reason, it I don't know, it wasn't listed or I don't know what happened. But this is Mickey Mouse Heads for the Sky. It's a really cute little golden book. Very well made. So that one needs a home there. Oh, I think the other one sold already. So we're doing we're doing really well working through stuff. I hope that um, maybe you're inspired to clean your room. Here's journals that um, are going to be listed. So these two shelves are journals from all of you. And you can see I have room. So how excited. I have room here. I have room back there. I have room so you can send in your journals. But remember, it's journals. Or if you're a supplier it's or a current artist, you can ask about... Um, selling ephemeral holders or folders or books as well. Okay, well, I'm going to flip you over here. Try to not make you dizzy as we go past. These boxes are from Leah. One of them got in my stuck in my inventory room somewhere, so I found them. The other one is recent. These should be uh, not tomorrow. I don't even know. There might be a short video tomorrow, but I'm going to be in the classroom most of tomorrow cleaning. But... Um, these should be listed by the end of the week. I'll do a video on them for sure. So be checking back for that. You don't want to miss Leah's stuff. Okay, so here we are where I film. I'm going to set you down and I'm going to show you the journals added to the shop today. So these are from Beatrice. I call her the queen of grunge, um, but that's just my pet name for her work. I'm always inspired. Look at how grungy and a beautiful this is. We have some leather ties on this. Um, I just noticed there's hand stitching on this. So this is investigations in, in a really cool grunge handwriting here. This is all hand stitched on the edges, 
hand stitched with like a jute or burlap type of twine. And you can see here, it's kind of hod podged together in this lovely, this is nice and thick, really cool. And um, let's see what it's called. Investigation, 132 pages, three signatures, um, papers, envelopes are coffee stained. There's hand stitching. So you have a belly band here with this little envelope. And so this is a uh, very, very grunged, coffee dyed, um, just beautiful, lots of pages. So her journals are not usually stuffed full of ephemera. They're stuffed full of grungy pages. And that is so wonderful for somebody who wants this lovely kind of um, canvas to write journal and all of that. And you kind of want a grungy vintage start, whether you're just writing on the pages, whether you're decorating it, or whether you're hoarding them as decor in your craft room or living room, you have this wonderful canvas. All the pages are prepped and ready for you. You can see all the gorgeous coffee dyeing, different book pages and all of that. There's little special touches throughout, but most of it is left up to you to decide what direction the journal is going to go. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So gorgeous. Lovely, lovely pages. Vintage papers as well. This is a big journal. Um, I'll look at the size here in a second. I think it was 10 and a half by by something eight by ten and a half so quite large quite beautiful and, and this would be a wonderful masculine journal because there's really not much um specifically feminine about it of course you could make it feminine and you can add you, you know as much lace and flowers and all of that as you want uh, it's a great neutral type journal or if you wanted more of a masculine travel journal masculine like some kind of a gift it would be wonderful in a, a study a man cave something like that as well so that's the first one then there's this one beautiful so she's used an old i want to say you guys can correct me because you know better um but i think this is like i want to say like a, a cool work or maybe it's one of those old like punch needle punch needle uh linens or something like that but there's some buttons up here looks like there's four signatures there's a little burlap flower down here we have it says destiny right on there and some beads and then the closure goes around that flower it's an elastic and this is called Collector. It says The Collector right there. So it's very sturdy and plush. You can feel it plush and you can feel it sturdy, which is a great combination. It makes for a wonderful journal. So this one looks like it has a little bit more maybe of a nature bent to it, but still lots and lots of these vintage um, looking pages and coffee dyeing. But there's like... Uh, these kind of handmade type papers, mulberry papers, like these fibers, and then pops of little birds and leaves and flowers. So kind of like a grungy nature. See there, a little journal card. I love the different sizes in the pages. It gives you lots of different size um, backgrounds and canvases to work on. So whatever you want, you know, there's different types of papers that you can find exactly what you want. Her journals are all seem to always be beloved. She uses like rusty paper clips. Look at those birds. So beautiful. I'm working on a bird journal. I know such a surprise, right? Bird journals are my favorite to make. I'm working on another one, and there's a lovely vintage Vesper Sparrow on the front of the journal. It's going to be a two-signature journal. If anybody knows for sure they're going to want it, you can pre-order it by emailing me, but I want to get it done this week, um, and it's, it's already, I love the cover, and I've just gotten the signatures together, so um, hopefully I can get those sewn in today and maybe decorated over the next few days if I have time. But look at those buttons there as well. So this one is beautiful. This is the collector. And then this is the last one for today. 
but it's been covered in this looks like an old sheet or pillowcase isn't that gorgeous look at the lace and you can see a the aging on it little beads look at the brooch i'm a suit okay that must be the front <laughs> uh okay so i'm i'm guessing that's the front and then that's the back isn't that beautiful and this one is called house of roses house of roses which i think she said is a stamperia um paper pad and she's used some of that in here as well as these other pages lace bits and all of that very pretty you can see the lace edges there of the peaches and the creams and the pinks lots of pages to write on with little touches of roses kind of a um, shabby garden type theme absolutely beautiful for you to add your touches on I plan on having a short video maybe two journals tomorrow and then um, probably over Wednesday and Thursday getting Leah's stuff done and uploaded look at how pretty now um don't forget to check out those supply uh d stashes from above par crafts because there's some really great stuff in there that you're going to want for your journaling there's some of them have library cards and playing cards and bridge papers and book pages and music papers and i mean all sorts of stuff most of them are vintage flashcards and stuff like that. So grab a pack um, of those as well. So those are the new journals added. Thank you so much for watching and your kind attention and your wonderful comments and your great um, spirit and your creativity that always inspires me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you back tomorrow.